Well, as we said, we just got done celebrating our dispatchers, but did you know that there is a day set aside in our nation to help or save a horse? Well, there is. It is April 26th, and we thought we would celebrate by introducing you to a group of people who don't just rescue horses. They get them healthy emotionally and physically and then give them a purpose. Out here in the great northwest part of Las Vegas, this ranch is home to 20 horses of all breeds and sizes, from huge Belgians, one weighing in at 2,500 pounds, to ponies, and just about everything in between. These are the horses of Gladius the Show, a beautiful equestrian production that performs all over the country. But these horses have something in common aside from the show. Nearly all of them have been rescued in one way or another. Here is the story behind the four Norwegian fjords on the ranch. They were all snatched up by the owners of Gladius just before being put to death. They were adopted on two separate occasions, um, but they were all four in kill pens headed to the horse slaughter and um, they were pulled out by two different rescue organizations. One of the rescues was in here in Nevada in Mesquite, and the other one is the um, Norwegian Fjord Horse Rescue Network. And once we contacted them, they were able to get us adopting them. Alethea Shelton, who is part owner and one of the performers, says all four were in bad shape, two emotionally and two physically. This horse is Floki. He's, he's one of the ones that was most recently rescued, and he um, is the one that's the most skeptical of people. So he's been taking a while to just get humanized. So we spend a lot of time um, just kind of having him in hand and hanging out with him, and I do a lot of work with him on the ground to build uh, some trust so he starts to trust us. Floki was adopted at the same time and basically in the same condition as Thor. They were both like weight wise they looked okay but emotionally they were really distressed he had his partner for life separated from him so he was very stressed out and had separation anxiety and um, just emotionally they were not in good shape at all eric matanovich the other owner of the show has been riding horses since he was six years old and says he's never seen horses as emaciated as the other two rescues Foya and Balder. Um, so yeah, when we got him, he was a skeleton. He, they, I don't know why someone didn't feed him for so long, and but whatever it was, he was completely malnourished. Uh, he was always really cuddly and friendly. Like he never, there wasn't that, the emotional side of it. But we had, when we got him, we had to feed him just nonstop for about three months just to get him to where they weren't just skin and bone anymore. It would be much easier and a lot less time consuming to get horses that are already trained to be ridden and ready to learn to be part of the show. But the performers in this show are not only highly skilled vaulters and aerialists, they are first and foremost animal lovers and advocates for rescuing these magnificent creatures from harm or death. So to them, it's worth the extra work and patience. Yeah, so the first the first thing we do is just try to learn the horse, figure out what, what it's issues are, what it's happy with. And with that, that's also like with the show, we have a lot of different things that the horses can do. And so we'll kind of play with different stuff and see what they like and what they don't like. Some horses are really happy to do one thing and not so happy about another. And one of the great things is we have so much stuff and such a diverse amount of horses that we're really able to give them the ability to do what they want to do. Every horse is going to take patience and then some take more patience than others. Um, but we're, we're putting a lot of time and energy into rehabbing them and giving them trust and giving them a life with a job, which horses like to have that. Alethea says Floki has come a long way from not even wanting to be near a human, but he will eventually be one of the chariot pulling horses that you see in the show. If you have any doubt they'll get him to that point, just take a look at Gladius the show and keep in mind nearly every one of these horses came to the ranch needing a lot of extra love and patience to get them where they are today. Fortunately, there is no shortage of love or patience in these owners and performers. That was clear when I asked Alethea and Eric why they rescued these gentle giants. It just adds to it, you know, just gives us a little more connection with the horse. It's a bit, just something, something to do for them helps. Are you emotional? Me? Yes. In general? No, no. right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we do it 
for the for the horses. We want to save them. You know, we don't we don't like to see animals suffering, and it's just a win-win situation when you can pull an animal out of a situation like that. It just makes you feel really good, <laughs> and they give us lots of love. So. I actually got choked up when I watched how emotional they get when they talk about those horses. But aside from being great people, they are all great athletes. Everyone in that show has competed either nationally or internationally as vaulters and aerialists. You can learn more about all of the horses and find out where Gladius the Show will be performing here and all over the country by going to GladiusTheShow.net.